What is up, YouTubers and Facebook cats? Mike Johnson here from Mike'sLessons.com, and I wanted to talk to you about practicing flow. This is a difficult topic because in the beginning, you know, you have grooves and you have fills, and they're very separate things. And you stay here at home base, and you play your groove, and then you look over here and you're like, screw that, I'm not playing way over there. Okay, I'll do my fill right here. Pat Boone, Debbie Boone, barbecue sauce, oh my God, stay right there. And that's how we all start, but we all want that sense of flow, that, that freedom to explore the drum set without thinking about kicks and rights and lefts and where is the one. So let me show you how I've practiced it. So the first thing I do is I start off with a pattern that's short enough that I can easily memorize it. So anywhere between three and eight notes long. So the pattern we'll use today is something that I give all my students, and it's eight notes long. Kick right, left, kick right, left, right, left. Kick right, left, kick right, left, right, left. And you need to play that a couple trillion times until it's completely ingrained. The next step is taking it to the kit. Now I can't change the pattern, we've already established that for now, but what I can change is the orchestration and the dynamics. And I would definitely stay in the same subdivision with a click in the beginning. So as far as orchestration, that's just where am I gonna play this thing? So I wanna freely move around the drum set the best I can. The other thing is the dynamics, the texture, the shape that you're giving this. You wanna make sure that every single note has its own dynamic value. And the way to do this is to practice slow. So we're gonna start this thing at 60 BPM. Once I have that down, we can bring up the speed and add in the next step. The next step is to play that pattern for one bar and improvise the second bar. You can see having that memorized pattern to go back to not only gives the audience an anchor, but it gives you an anchor. You have this pattern that you know by heart, and then you just go and improvise for one bar, and you come back to this pattern. Benny grab Benny. Unta button down to the unta button down down up down turn around pick a pair of paradiddles. Unta button down to the unta button down to the ible ble ble. Mm. So the last step is just to try that in four bar phrases. Two bars of your memorized pattern followed by two bars of improvisation. Maybe you don't need all that spice at the end, but at least you see what I'm talking about now. Creating a sense of flow and practicing flow is not about sitting down at the drum set and just creating all brand new material. It's about having an anchor and something that you can really hold on to and that gives you uh, an environment to create inside of. So put some time into this, do this with more than just one pattern. I've done this with hundreds of patterns and I promise you'll start to create a sense of flow for yourself.